That's fine. Fuck you, you want to tell the story when that is your own? You're going to tell this girl laugh or what, dog? You want to hear why you got to tell the story? You want 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 to tell the story? Never cost me. Counsel. Secondly, when you come to the court, especially like in the case you've been referencing, Damlal, um, case. I don't even like to spell those people's name in my mouth. Um, you could see clearly, and that's what this government has been doing. People who are, they go, they prey on people who have little. I think what the PPP is doing, they're circulating a video about an opposition MP who uh, yeah, yeah. fell ill and had to be rushed to the hospital. They are running with all manner of um, you know, questionable allegations and, and rumors about the reason why that MP was rushed to the hospital. They all knew she was drunk. While she was presenting, you could see clearly she was drunk. And nobody chose to stop her. That is the kind of people the PNC are. And then... Mr. Speaker, from the outset, I want to condemn in the strongest possible terms, the verbal abuse that continues to be meted out to female members of this house by members of the other side. Let me tell you something. When the girl, they just fucking dead, ah, they went on big fucking platform and said, oh, they had knowledge of this man. You see, here, I tell you, and when the man there, and who helped the man escape and all them things. Fata is the same fucking one. You hear what? I tell you, uh -huh. Harlem was derailing the police. The police are laughing at Harlem's cunt up. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the disrespect of our women in politics must stop. Mr. Speaker, we have, we have to be determined to develop a better culture in this National Assembly. Calling a female colleague of mine a stripper is unacceptable. It is unacceptable, Mr. Speaker, and it must be condemned. What friend is that? I don't know, friend. I don't really know, friend. I don't think it's over, buddy. I don't think it's over. Nights, I think it's over. You want to get all the money, you want to be in a relationship with anything. I feel like I want to go more into, you know, you know, guys and anything. I want to be in a relationship with no girl and them sort of I want to try new, I want to try something new. And I can't, I can't try something new, guy, nobody. Because, you know, I can't, you know, be with no man, guy, not of my family, you know, sort of people, my friend, there and them sort of thing. You know what I mean? So, this guy just want to roll and start new. Try new things. They have no moral authority to talk about criminal acts and. And who is this? The PPP doesn't. Not a Anand Pasad, not a Kwame, not a Jagde, not a Irfan. None of them. I want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel. And for the 92% of the brand new viewers that come through. And you ain't hit the subscription button yet. Hit the subscribe button, buddy. The content is only going to get better moving forward. I'm going to wait. Thanks. Mining tongue of Lynn was a young woman who resided in the mining town of Linden. She was 20. Dover shared a relationship with Shaquan Allen, properly known as Izwi of Canvas City, Wismer Linden, the prime suspect in her murder. Allen was arrested in Suriname last week and confessed to the crime on his return to Guyana. He was handed over to local police and investigators made a breakthrough in the case last Friday night after Allen confessed to the crime. He claimed it was accidental and not intentional or premeditated. He implicated Dover's sister, who was charged with accessory for the murder. In providing details of what transpired, the newsroom understands that Allen told investigators that he sent Dover's sister for the firearm since he wanted to clean the weapon. The day before this, Allen reportedly claimed that he took Dover to a shooting practice in Wizrock after he had learned that some bad boys wanted to rob him. He further stated that while cleaning the gun, his fingers accidentally touched the trigger and Dover was shot to her forehead. Allen further alleged that he and Dover's sister came up with a plan to dig a hole and bury her in the backyard where her body was found. And the plan was to tell Dover's family that she left for work and didn't return. Before escaping to Suriname, Allen told investigators that he sold the gun to an individual. Investigators have a keen interest in locating the gun used in commissioning the crime, which is a key aspect of the investigation. 
On Saturday morning, the individual who he claimed he sold the gun to, a resident of Wismer Linden, was arrested. The suspect was taken to CID headquarters where he was told of Allen's claim. According to sources, the man then told investigators that Allen indeed told him of the sale of a gun for $100,000 and he inquired whether he knew anyone who would be interested. The suspect further claimed that he offered to loan Allen the cash and told him to keep the gun. The suspect subsequently met Allen where he gave him the money and collected the gun which he kept at a relative's house. About two weeks later, the newsroom was told that the suspect learned that Dover's sister went to the police and told them that she was shot and killed and the police were on the hunt for Alain. And so, according to the suspect's account, he called a friend and told him he had a gun to sell for $50,000 after realizing that it may have been the gun that was used to kill Dover. The suspect further noted that he and his friend later went to Wizrock Linden, but he said the friend hadn't the money to pay for the gun. So they allegedly came to an agreement for the friend to fence the suspect yard and he would discount the money. And so the trade was done. Investigators were able to confirm the information provided by the suspect after the friend was arrested on Monday. As the investigation continues, Allen and the two men remain in custody. Listen, a couple of years ago when this girl just dead fat, you forget them things when they come out your mouth. Jessica, 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 I, I got up on the life and shame and fight snow. I uh, know, I know this is not you don't want to pick up sign somebody you wish to talk to. I can tell you what you do, fat I, I, I will not be talking to you after I don't this is ain't got no beef here, but no, I tell you what you do. God I tell bless you what you do. I tell you what you do. I don't mean and I post a video on my page. Hello, you, you were like, like, listen to me, you were live streaming and the Bible pony fake. Go for the screen, record you. It's public knowledge. You just want to be ignorant. You do it, it's you do it. What do I? It's you I do? streaming when you buy screen I record it. What I gotta do? If I, what I gotta do? That I can't your child. Don't send my you post your son randomly. Yeah. But J Jessica, I am he ran to post my child. He it ran to post my knowledge. child. It he ran to post my child. Uh, he ran to post my child. He ran for post your child. Yes, but what is the caption that he posts? Um, oh, that's, um, oh, you see, so you, you and you run away from it, man. No, I you run away from it. You, you was live streaming you are, you are, I don't and live stream. You, you, are, you are picking up for me. You are picking up, pick up, pick up for nobody because no, no, if somebody ran, I can tell them. No, 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 couple no, no, years no, ago no, when this girl was just dead, couple years ago when this girl was dead, it was you going on people's platform with Kian Arthur with the engine on Ali. I had a whole wrong table conversation. Who know the body? Who see the body? Plus you cost your chichi and you fucking tell your chichi how your chichi you cost your chichi and tell your chichi how she went tell the fucking story. I'm a fucking sweet. It was you. It was you. You gotta do business now, Jessica. Yeah, but you can't. Tell the people that came, but one is you is the one that said. Why is the one? This is not disrespect. Oh, Scott Fatty, you went on a live. Me? And you cost Judge Chichi. You tell Judge Chichi. You told Judge Chichi how Hello. she went into the store. I'm a fuck with yeah. you. It was Hello. you. Hello. That is not your business. No, it's not. No, I'm not my business, but don't say what you know nothing. You pick up, you pick up, you pick up, mess. I don't say that you know nothing. I tell you the truth. It's your mouth, Fatty. It's you yourself. I don't have to get to you or nobody else. You're not against the to nobody, nobody, but you're going to like if you're innocent. You what don't know your dad. You just huh? self come out and you, talk. Yeah, you sit on the live and said, I like talk. Now you come and tell another topic. But I tell you the truth, you like to talk. You are very corrupt. I am, God bless I'm you. I'm corrupt. I'm telling I'll you go, facts. I will, not be, I will black out my face. I'm not one of you anymore. You I never know that you can be too silent. Just I was on the I come to your face and tell you hey. No, 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 have a good day. God bless you. God is on my life uh, that I remember. I didn't post no video, no, 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 no. You said, oh, Jesus, listen you. to me. 
When no, the I girl they just passed away, Alia had a whole thing. You have the best of it. Mess and everybody have a good day. Message a friend. Message I'm not your friend. friend. You have me friend. You have me friend. You friend. But I tell you what you do. Put nothing in my mouth. You me know, put it in your mouth. Put nothing in your mouth. Put nothing in your mouth. Put nothing in your mouth. Business. I am not with nobody. I am not with nobody. I am not with no fucking body. It's coming to you, mouth. Yes. Right you see, you just it's want to you want to mix me up. You look for fucking me no, up. Me, oh, Jesus. You want to put me in an old finger. Me I'm going to I put to you for tell you what you're saying. Yes, I'm talking. On. You see, you. You just start ordering that I like talk. No, it's coming to you. I'm not talking with the putting on your Facebook. There's truth by talking. Yeah, like. If just you see. If judge is me friend and Ian, he can talk to me, he can tell you wrong with me, me, he can tell you you or what. I don't have to get, I don't understand what he's saying in my life. Uh, Hello, nobody yeah, can't have judge his name, Ian Ram Philly. Right? Yeah. Father Church said, he said, because of the church he posts, he can't nothing else. Well, he's me right. Can't well, listen to me, well, what I try to tell you, daddy. Yeah, yeah. 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 what I try to tell you, daddy. Daddy is a sheriff from this man. Yeah, you're trying to tell me. Yeah, you're but the hands are feeding me. Who hands are feeding me? The tree over the bottom of the tree. Take a minute, man. Take a minute. That's you the cut. You the liar, fucking crap. No, no, Mister. I said that, Mister. I don't lie. I tell you the truth, Fato. No, 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 no. You look, you look at my viral. You look at my attention. You look at my story. I don't get to see much follows. I don't get you anymore. Why can't I take a minute? Take a minute. Why you cover the story today? If me a mess, why you jump out? I mean, you got a story. This is Shaq with us now. I can talk about you talk my own business. Nobody can turn you up. Yeah, but you shout in. Let me just talk to you. 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 Just to fuck you. You're fuck ignorant. You, Jessica. That's fine. You want to hear the story? When that is your own. You're going to talk to this girl laugh or what, dog? You want to hear why I got to say? You want to hear the story? I want to hear the story. Take Shaq and bring back. You want to feed me? Take Shaq and bring back. You want to feed me? Never cost me. Let me tell you something. When the girl they just fucking dead, ah, they went on big fucking platform and said how oh, they had knowledge of this man. You see, here I tell you, and where the man there and who helped the man escape and all them things. Fata is the same fucking one. You hear what I tell you? Ah, them was derailing the police. The police just laugh all them scunt up. I sorry, can't even bring up this fucking video. But who was watching it? They know exactly what I'm talking about. But any question though? Why they say it? Um. Judge went there and is she oh. is she cause judge when she and judge when when judge went to Guyana time she the cause judge and cause just a cause cause judge and said judge your whole family got AIDS and I can't she cause judge she said judge you went to fucking sorry I'm a fuck with AIDS. she was she was the one that said that oh that what is, is that why may could come out with that today and may post the video and today and may post all the old I mean, it would look really, really, really bad in a time like this that like you just gonna up yourself and leave. You know, really, don't mind. I don't know really the police want to fuck around you because I don't know. They're from the same man that fuck around you. And I tell you about the next minute, the police come and want to fuck around you. You understand me? Just follow the police car, keep going to the station, wherever, wherever. You understand? But throw away everything, man. Come on, friend. I don't make up my mind. I tell you what I want to do. Support me, no matter what I want to do. You know what I want to do, buddy. You understand? Me left nothing. I'm not a partner. Me get no chick, no chick. Me get away from kids. They partner. She can just pick up your son. Roll. Who is it? I left everything else, I left everything, you know what I mean? Come on, buddy, me don't know me left nothing, but I could do anything, buddy. You don't know what I'm doing right now, pardon me. Everything with distress. You're out of here, 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 you are out of here 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 and so I have to be careful. The most you want to do is probably lose control of your passport, but it's asylum. And then from then I was into, but friend is not. I don't know friend. I don't really know friend. I don't think it over, buddy. I don't think it over. Nice. I think it over. You want to get all the money. You want to be in a relationship with more and thing. I feel like I want to be more into you know, you know, guys and them thing. I want to be in a relationship with no girl and them sort of thing. I want to try new. I want to try something new. And I can't. I can't try something new, guy. Nobody. Because you know, I can't. You know, be with no man, guy. Not with my family, wrong sort of people, wrong friend, there and them sort of thing. You know I me. Mean? So this guy just want to roll and start new. I knew that. You know what I mean? That's everything behind me. I'm looking for nobody to judge me and leave me up on no class and I'm You know what I don't know why you allowing these people to make you um weak out. I never know the process. We got to now use the process of shit out. I mean, yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody is um going through some shit. But everybody's talking about it. I mean, you should have been the one for talking it out. You understand me? I had archive. If you read on Dave, you don't want to go just chill out. Fella, do my thing. Go down to do my thing. You understand? But don't run just like that. At least get it from Monday for any if nothing else. You know, you got a beat. 
because you're still thinking yourself like it will look really really bad and you want to eye your father eyes in your friend's eyes and then everybody can thinking that this man did this girl something everybody can say you do the girl something i have it out before this thing open up this is how everybody can see it you need to think this thing through and put everything into perspective because one friend you train realize this i see i mean yeah you can pay your meat girls or whatever 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 and you could go and do with them or whatever but think about it you cannot see back your family that's my family can't back again for nothing but you can go out and go to this but you said just got to be supposed this girl turn up dead or you live in a foreign See, in this life, you never stop learning. You never stop learning. Every day is a day to learn something new. Divinity is forever changing, always progressing. You gotta know about you. And when you don't know about you, you can't know what you want. If you don't know about you, you can't know what's bad for you. And what's good for you? You gotta learn about yourself. I see two misguided young people here right now. And they're so misguided, they're being an example to the country about the things that you should not do. Now, to be honest with you, this girl get used by Izwi. Izwi was using Shibika Watch. She's the one with the job, right? She's the one that's going to work and help him for take care of wherever on a regular basis so that he now could bring in a little big money every time he do a little crime or a little find this find out. And she ain't even realizing that that's what's going on. Because guess what? He's the big boy in the neighborhood or he's the bad man. You understand? Everybody healing you up. And everybody, he's the big thing. He got the rap group and he doing music and giving she this illusion that she think is going to become real. But if you don't realize yourself, you can't realize when you're getting used. You can't realize what's going on right in front of your face. Because it's a pretty and an attractive young woman, right? So you would know that other man is going to try to talk to Shane them thing when she's on the road. So I know somebody at your job try to talk to you and try to be with you in a real way as a real man doing things that is not as what we what we gonna say as real or as bold as is we was doing back then but you see you fall faith and you get used because he ain't had no intentions for you because he don't have no intentions for himself why because he don't even know himself how you gonna be a gangster right let be real how you gonna be a gangster doing real things in the street and you putting it in a song that use a gangster and all your friends is gangster. That means if the song blow up, you're going to jail, buddy, because you don't do some of the things or affiliated in the street in a way that the cops could always come and say, hey, this, this, the next thing you know, you're getting it started. It's a game. It's foolish. Hollywood set up the music industry, bro. You get caught up. A lot of people get caught up. Every person got to take some time and investigate themselves and the things that they're doing and when you don't they get caught up like this he was using she all along watch and she realized she getting used so much that she expose she expose her younger sister to the using because you're hearing now that you got a child now with the younger sister that means that you was with her bro when she was a little teen, you didn't give her a chance to grow. You went into the field before it was even prepped and ready for cultivation. Poor farming skills, but you don't know yourself. See, in the food basket to the Caribbean, and you applying certain things that everybody in GT know to your own self, because guess what? You wanna be in a culture that's foreign, in a culture that is set up to destroy melanated people, but you don't even know that because you want to live it like if you over here, bro, but you're not over here like that. You don't understand how this thing works. You don't understand and you don't see how they use the music to control the minds of people. You see what I'm saying? And I switch it up like that for you to realize that I'm in that and I see it for years. So. We got to learn about ourselves and young women should take this as a lesson to them. Be with people that is for you. But first, you got to learn about you. You can't love nobody if you don't know yourself. 
and you can't love yourself unless you know yourself. So if you don't know yourself, you can't love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. So it's key, it's key for you to know about you and learn about you. And when I say learn about you, I mean talking about this persona that they gave you at birth and that you built up. I'm talking about the real you. You got to take some time and learn about you before you step into these life-changing experiences because look at this. Look at this. But the things going on in the country is similar to it. The things going on in the country are very similar. Watch. You got a lot of victimization allegedly being meted out to a lot of women right now in the country. So you're seeing the thread that's weaving through Guyanese society and all over the world. So let me not just act like Guyana is just this island place or it's just this place that's secluded from everything else that's going on in the world. Because it's just like the Honorable Miss Walton was pointing out. Like, we got to realize that Guyana now is on a global scale and everybody's looking at what's going on in GT. And everybody in GT is now looking at what's going on all over the world thanks to social media, right? We could learn things faster. So we now got to learn from the things that's going on and see how everything else in the world is being affected by these same things here. When you see all the women is crying out and saying, look, something in society has to change. You see now it's rattling up the whole US right now. You can see now it's shaking up all through the world right now. How women are rising up. We don't want that over there. We don't want to hear these type of things coming out of parliament. We don't want to hear these type of things coming out of some of the biggest social media platforms in the diaspora, in the country. And we definitely don't want to hear the young women dying like this. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section, guys. What do you think about this? Can you see the thread? Do you think that we, as so-called Guyanese, need to really investigate ourselves and understand ourselves and how we're interacting with one another? Let's get into the other conversation. Drunk or sick or both? Who allegedly set up MP Edmonds? Who knows? Will we ever know the truth about this conversation? But we could speculate. We could put all the little pieces together and look at it from a real place. Because Guyanese people are stupid. Like we know what's going on. How we could analyze and we got sense. And sometimes we don't always tell you everything what we know. We just watch and say, okay, let's see this one and you feel like a fool. All right. But I got something. I got something coming. Right, we see and we understand what's going on, but we know to investigate this video and we can investigate it from both sides because at Delta 9 Media, we just move from both poles. We understand that the negative side is just as important as the positive side because that's gonna get you to Krishna, that's gonna get you to the vortex, right? That's gonna allow you to be able to occupy the most powerful pole in anything that's political the center the center point so let's get into this right now i'll show you another instance of what the pnc is good for yesterday you know everybody come up on gita channel no i'm not, I'm um, not sure first thing gita is a woman in an unfortunate situation. I've known Gita since she was a magistrate. And recently I saw Gita in the gym. I wanted to give her some words of encouragement. Yesterday, Gita Chandan Edmund presented in parliament drunk as a fish drunk as a fish 
No. Because of her position, because of who she is, it has come out in the public. Let me tell you. I am no, I myself am not without sin. One time I went to Jack Dio's press conference, pissing drunk, drunk out my mind. But I was not the center focus. I got drunk to cock up my foot and I got drunk out my mind. So not, not usual, and, but this woman has to present in parliament. Yesterday, this was her presentation. I am not so worried about the fact that Gita Chandan was drunk in parliament yesterday. What I'm worried about is Gita Chandan was in discussions with her colleagues, her opposition members and colleagues, while she was drunk. They all knew she was drunk. While she was presenting, you could see clearly she was drunk. And nobody chose to stop her. That is the kind of people the PNC are. And then they all knew she was drunk. What I want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel. And for the 92% of the brand new viewers that come through. And you ain't hit the subscription button yet. Hit the subscribe button, buddy. The content is only going to get better moving forward. I go with it. Thanks. The issue of statement, the statement that you have up here is the PNC statement? Is the PVP statement? Me want to hear the PVP as a punch. I want to hear the PNC as a punch. I'll go to the page if I have to. Then the issue of statement representing the, that she had a medical, no fucking medical condition. She was at just before this. Watch it. She was at. Um, hard rock, you see the outfit? She was at hard rock taking drinks, right? No, I was at hard rock last night. Thank you very much, sir. Taking I'm drinks, not, right? I'm not sure. I, well, I, I'm drinking. I mean, I was at hard rock climbing. Same outfit. You see the little badge, right? So just before this, she went over to Hard Rock. She take up her liquor. Unfortunately, she come back high. What is worrying is the fact that people knew she was drunk. You know who asked the speaker to stop this? You know who asked the speaker to stop this? Priya Manichan went to the speaker and said, Chief, stop this, this lady drunk, something wrong. They all sat there while she went on for this. This is the whole video with her. She went on longer than her. This is the piece for you get. All right. Now listen to it. Listen there. You can't hear it. All we got we did. She got her own thing we should go in through. I could only imagine being an Indian in the PNC, a racist party. It's just that nobody has in texture. She wanted to be. She wants to be owned. That is her problem. She wants to be owned. She needs a place. You understand? I see she there in the gym, and I wanted to message her and say, "Yo, give you some words of courage. Keep up at it. Keep up at it. People got all kind of struggles in their life. What you have to learn and look about this." Now, the PNC come out after for spin this and said, she get, somebody put it out there, she get stroke. She had no fucking stroke. She was drunk out she fit, she mind. Drunk as a fish. Hello, good morning. Don't know nothing in the background, man. We don't know what is the circumstance. Maybe she had two, one too many. Maybe she had some drinks and didn't eat. She wasn't conscious. But all her opposition parliamentarians were more than aware of the circumstances, sat there and see this happen and nobody, a government minister, Priya Manichan, had to go to the speaker and say, Oi, something wrong, stop this thing. 
not her own colleagues. Mm. That is the benefits you get from the PNC. Nothing. Listen to this. Anyways, I'm not sure it's my... Thank you very much, sir. I'm not... I'm not sure what's... Anyways, I'm not sure it's my um, relation with um, Casino. What I have to say is that I stand here resolute to represent the people. Okay, so Mr. Speaker, I rise to complete the responsibility that has been assigned to me. Last Monday, we've had the senior minister, Ashley Singh. He has proceeded, he has moved the motion for the approval of the estimates for the public sector and the budget for the financial year 2024, which obviously it is inconsistent with Article 171 of our Constitution. Don't get very alarmed. Budget 2024 is themed staying the course, building the prosperity for all. And sir, like all of us, we are shocked that the Honorable Minister has had the temerity to tell the nation that we are prepared to stay the course. Yes, Dr. Ashley, we are we, yes, 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 honorable member for the courts of this house, we have had to say that... I can't, I can't watch this, Conto. I, I can't, I can't watch this out. I think what the PPP is doing, they're circulating a video about an opposition MP who uh, yeah, yeah. fell ill and had to be rushed to the hospital. They are running with all manner of, um, you know, questionable allegations and, and rumors about the reason why that MP was rushed to the hospital. But they are okay. in no position. They are in no position, absolutely no position to be criticizing people about slurred speech, speeches and these sort of things when the likes of Anand Fassad can't even talk properly. Oh, okay. I don't even know how he ended up in Parliament. Okay, but I wanted to hear what Miss Best was going to yeah. say about the video she was referencing. No. The, oh. the video I was referencing um, is on Newsroom, where they were showing, attempting to show um, Comrade Cummins, Dr. Cummins, was attempting to, to injure somebody in the um, eating area. And oh. that is in response to our statement that was circulated about the disrespect that was meted out to my comrade, Mr. Nance. So they tried to come up with something to put against what is being said. And then they said, that is from the government um, ministers. But what I'm getting at, the fact that you can take a video footage from your dining hall, where people should be having their lunch and make it into something that is not true and use it for propaganda, speaks about the lack of protection and security in the parliament for our female parliament, parliamentarians. And I take that very serious. Miss, uh, Miss, Miss, um, Miss Washington, I know this is your show for tonight. You're asking the question. If you can permit me just about that very video that the corrupt PVP was able to leak. Leak that video out as MP Best just, uh, just placed it there and say to all of us, that they leak that video out to the propaganda PVP media uh, outlets like um, um, Newsroom mm -hmm. and others. On that video, they only want the audience to make it appear that Dr. Cummings did something so yes. wrong. And they're painting it, they're calling her a quote unquote criminal and all manner. Look at her, look at her. They're not telling us what led to that. They're not telling us that Jack is sitting down there and susuing and whispering. They're not telling us what the other minister, so called ministers, did that prompted that woman, the MP, Dr. Cummings, to defend herself. They have no moral authority to talk about criminal acts and. And who is this? The PVP doesn't. Not a Anand Prasad, not a Kwame, not a Jack, not a Irfan. None of them. In fact, they got to be reminded that Jack Irfan sits there with 19 fraud charges. They banned him or revoked his visa from going to Canada. He never told us why. Is it money laundering? I'm asking a question. Now, getting back to Dr. Cummings. 
They're not going to tell us, remind us, and there's where the opposition should get on and get their job going to remind the nation that it's the same Dr. Cummings they wanted to kill. They surrounded her vehicle and all manner of stuff in front of um, the Pegasus. All is mine and the universe is mental. All things are feminine and the whole world's a stage. And when you don't realize this, you can't control your roles and the parts that you play on that stage. Other people is control it for you. When you don't realize the whole world's a stage, you can't decide which movie you're going to star in and what role you're going to play in that movie. Now, there's no way that you could control the roles that you want to play if another person is controlling you emotionally. But you see, that emotional side that we as men is let loose and just let do whatever it want because we don't want to pay attention to it. That feminine side to ourselves. Because remember the masculine is just another expression of the feminine. All things are feminine. But that part of we self that we ignore and just let run all over the place is control the rules sometimes that we could play. Because there's no way that a person could do something like that and stand up next to real men like President Ali and other men in the country that stand for certain things, other real men that would never allow a person to do something like that in their presence. Now, we all got to pay attention to ourselves and that real energy that we are. Not the persona that we build up over time and that we put on people and that person's call me in school and you say, I am here or present. You got to really understand yourself because even with your greatest achievements, we can see that you can still feel really underachieved. You could hold one of the highest posts in the country and you could still find yourself being so stressed with your actual experience in life to where you would be that loaded, allegedly, right before one of the most important activities was stressed. You're so far from the focus of what you are that you can't deal with it in a way that is even functional. So the whole thing had to be paused, stopped. Now we got to understand ourselves because when you don't understand yourself, you can't love yourself. And if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else and you definitely can't really represent nobody like that. But let's get into this right now. And I think, I don't know if a lot of essays has as, as, as happened in Parliament, but I feel like in Guyana, sexual assaults is something that is not dealt with properly. You understand? It's something that is constantly overlooked. It's brushed to the side. And as you could see with the damn lot, I like to reference that because that's like, that's like the, that's like the case. That's like the precedent. That's like the one that you turn to, to reference. If you want the, the classical case of where a woman, well, this is in, in this case, this was a child because she was barely 16 years old. Classic case of essay that was, overlooked and this paints the picture of what happens and give people the idea of what Guyana looks like when it comes to sexual assaults against women and young girls. It's swept under the rug and I yeah. think you're in the perfect position and people like you are in the perfect position to implement or push for the implementation of stricter laws, rules and regulations to deal with those people in parliament who gets involved in this type of behavior. This type of oh. conduct should be immediately, you should be suspended, no pay. And then it's investigated. And if it found that it's, there's merit, you should be forced out of office immediately. That's how a civilized society will operate. But in Guyana's case, you have the, if you go before the, um, we got to go to the police to make it report. I can tell you, you go to the station to make a report, depending on the type of officer you meet, they can ask the thing like if you're sure, you're sure you're the man, they're making joke, and that kind of foolishness 
you would encounter. Secondly, when you come to the court, especially like in the case you've been referencing, Damalal, um case, I don't even like to spell those people's name in my mouth. <laughs> um, you could see clearly, and that's what this government has been doing. People want, they go, they prey on people who have little. They prey on people who really can defend themselves. So when they commit these acts, and it becomes public even if the family want to proceed or go ahead um, with the charges they got to deal with everybody bombarding them they ain't got money they got all these social issues and so a lot of time you find that persons finding vulnerable families vulnerable women vulnerable women finding themselves in such positions don't fall to collect this 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 field. So these predators walking around freelancing. But you know, God don't sleep. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, from the outset, I want to condemn in the strongest possible terms the verbal abuse that continues to be meted out to female members of this house by members of the other side. Mr. Speaker, the disrespect of our women in politics must stop. Mr. Speaker, we have, we have to be determined to develop a better culture in this National Assembly. Calling a female colleague of mine a stripper is unacceptable. It is unacceptable, Mr. Speaker, and it must be condemned. But Mr. Speaker, the world over is changing, a new order is emerging, and in this dynamic landscape of a changing global order, a state's foreign relations stands at the forefront of its strategic directions. Mr. Speaker, as a small country with a small population and a newfound prominence on the world stage as a petrol state, and with a threat to our territorial integrity ever looming, Guyana needs now more than ever a sober, steady, and studied approach to our foreign policy. You gotta be aware and you gotta know what you're looking at. What you're looking at is political rivals going at each other. So you gotta take part and left part and put the two parts together so that you could understand what's really going on. Or else you just might get caught up in the Hegelian dialectic, stirring up the water to catch fish. This is an election year. So, be aware, guys. Because we won't get hurt in this. Remember, the ones that feel the pain is the rooks. The ones that go out in front. You don't send out your king and your queen in the front. People who play chess know the king and the queen don't move like that. So, now understanding that this is what is going on in front of our faces we now got to move wise because you hear the amount of infrastructural investment that just went into home affairs a whole lot of new courts a whole lot of new magistrates and a whole lot of investment in security but why some are we so racial though why some are we so racial Black man this, coolie man though. Why some of we so racial? You see, when you speak like that, when you operate like that, you let the ones that has programmed your mind, the ones them that colonized you, you know, the ones that, that set up your mind control, they realize that they still have control over you in the best possible way. Because all you need is the mind to control everything in the organism let's have a conversation in the comment section about this and about the other topics in the video as well one love i'll catch you the next one